We're literally on the starting line at St. Martin Heineken Regatta on a cruising yacht. How many others could you do this on? This is exciting. The 55 is Gunboat's latest, coolest, and arguably most versatile cruiser racer yet. An incredible 15 sold off plan alone. So in the interest of all sailors with a pulse, we had to get aboard to find out more. Like past gunboats, the racing and socialising is certainly eye-opening. But it was the cruising facets of the 55 that we wanted to explore in full Caribbean-style comfort. So we headed off for a couple of days around St. Martin and Anguilla, dodging squalls and enjoying speed cat cruising. fly hulls, you can blast reach racing on these things, do 20 knots, but this is where a gunboat comes into its own, well the 55 certainly, because this amazing open air saloon, galley, living area is just fantastic, especially at anchor here, we've just, we've been looking at our surroundings the whole time, because there's pan proper panoramic vision here, but you don't, you don't miss anything, and um, do all your cooking up here, eat back here, you can sleep back here, someone's on watch, you're in contact with them. And there's some, still some pretty prime comfort down below as well. In the hulls, you can have an adaptable area aft. This has got a pantry. And the cabins are super luxurious. You lie in your nice big island berth and look straight out of a huge hull window. Some pretty tidy sized heads and, and shower up forward as well. I've been pretty comfortable in this cabin. All that space creates the ideal social stroke party platform at rest too. With the breeze up further still the following day, adrenaline flowed freely. There was too much wind for the planned helicopter shoot, so it was time for a blast to see what she could really do. Thirty-three knots true. I don't know what to say. <laughs> what do you say when you're cruising at 20 knots in 30 knots of wind? Caribbean swell, it's just incredible. There's five minutes of your utmost sailing pleasure possible. <laughs> Fairground ride over, and we could nose right into the shallows of Anguilla by lifting boards and rudders up. Before my heart rate had even settled, we had dropped anchor and could enjoy lunch in the space, comfort and fresh air. Can you tell I was warming to this boat? We were treated to the full range of conditions too, the sunshine quickly eclipsed by ominous rain squalls. Just heading back across the Anguilla Channel here towards St. Martin to try and find a bit of shelter do some photos, do some speed reaching. So uh, it's very little vis visibility. We're in the middle of a lot of rain, so we've only got the silent jib up. You'll probably see we're still averaging seven and a half, eight knots, reaching across the channel. Pretty comfortable. Check out how neatly this area has been designed. All your sheets and halyard led to two powered winches. So. When racing, you only need a guy each side of this console area and the helmsman, obviously. Two key features I really like. Having these emergency winch stop button here, so if any problems with these electric hydraulic winches, bang. And also a main sheet dump. 
but also the helmsman just has little remote control buttons for the main sheet here as well. So as soon as you're getting overpowered, it's easy to let the main sheet out quickly. And you can also just let the travel off, straight off the clutch. While we're here, you might want to look at the wind and the hair experience as well. So open up these doors, or open up the moonroof above us, and you actually feel the wind coming through, which I really like. In summary then, this is one powerful beast, which, in the right hands, has performance to match her painfully cool looks. Very comfortable for an experienced, adventurous couple. I can't think of another yacht I've sailed with so many potential rewards. The biggest problem, therefore, is reserved for when it's time to get off. Readjusting to comparative normality and conventional yachting can be pretty severe.